In this video, we're gonna go from this pretty drab looking Django website to this one right here that looks a whole heck of a lot better. And the way we're gonna do this is with the Bootstrap CSS framework. So let's go ahead and do that. As you know, this is what our website looks like right now. What we're gonna do first is go to getbootstrap.com to get bootstrap. And as you can see here, they're on version 5.3.0 alpha one at the time of this recording. Now, we can include Bootstrap directly into our project via CDN with these two lines right here. So the first one pulls down the Bootstrap CSS library, as you can see right here. And the second one pulls down the Bootstrap JavaScript library, as you can see here. So let's copy the CSS library script to our clipboard and we will get out of here in our Django project. We will go to our app directory and open up the templates base.html file. Now, right before the end of your head close tag, which is right here, we're gonna paste in the CSS link. And then down here, right before the end of our HTML body tag, which ends right here, we will paste in the JavaScript script. So it looks something like that. Now we'll save that go back to the root of our project and run our server. And right away, you'll notice a difference here when we refresh the page. Things are a little bit bigger, fonts are a little bit different, buttons are a little bit more square. And some could argue it looks better, but we can do a whole lot better than this too. So the first thing I wanna look at is adding one of the fundamental building blocks of Bootstrap, which is something called a container, okay? And that's a pretty easy one. We'll open up our template again for base.html. And what we're gonna do is wrap our body in a div of type class container. And you'll see what this does in just a second. Run our server and we'll refresh the page. And what this does is add some padding so you're not, everything is not pushed up against the left side of the screen. So that's an improvement in and of itself. Now, in addition to that, I want to do something with the table, right? We can add some borders and maybe some colors. So let's go to the bootstrap docs for the tables. And that's on this page here. You can have links to all the different elements that you can configure over here. And what we're gonna do is add a border to our table. So table border, something something like this. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll open up, we'll minimize this, open up our index.html file this time, and we'll go find our table element. And in here we will say class equals table, and then table bordered. So we'll save that, run our server, and let's see how that changed things. So we'll refresh our page. And that's good, it stretched our table to uh, be much wider and it actually added a border around it, which is great. There's another table element that I wanna add here and that is going to be called table light. And that's gonna add a little bit of color to our table. So we'll do that in here as well, table light, save that, run our server, and you'll see how that changes. It added a little bit of gray background to our table. Now you can come in here, look through all of these examples and implement anything that you want, but I'm just gonna show you a couple different features that I prefer for my tables for this website. Other things we're gonna look at are buttons. So we're gonna to go to the documentation for buttons and we have all these really cool different colored buttons. So if you want a blue button, you can use button primary. If you want a green one, you want button success, red one, button danger. We're gonna use all three of those in our project. So we'll go back here open up the index again. Let's find the edit button and add some class attributes for this. So we'll do class for the edit button equals button success. And then the class for the delete button will be class button danger. And I just realized here I also need to add the default button class as well. And then in our save.html file, we'll do something very similar class, button, button, primary. All right, we'll save that, start up our server, and let's see how that has changed our app. 
I think it looks great. We have green buttons for edit. Let's see if they still work. Alex, he got a 98, save that. He is now down from the top. Robert, let's give Robert, he deserves 100. Let's give him 100. Save that, he's now at the top of the row. Delete Robert, delete Mary, delete Alex, delete Paul. If you made it this far in this tutorial, congratulations, you have pretty much done a great job at learning Django. All these individual concepts combined will help you develop more sophisticated Django websites, Django products in the future. And if you ever get to the point where you want to deploy your Django project to the public so that anybody can access it, then I recommend that you check out this video next.